Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video that goes over the five bullish chart setups that I sent out to my uh, newsletter, bullmarketnewsletter.net, um, last Saturday. Um, this is what I do every week, or usually every week and a half. I go through my scans, pick out five bullish chart setups from five different areas, and um, then I'll put them together and throw them out in an email alert. Very popular, and I like to go over because um, we've been having some good success with them. And none, same with this one. So if you're interested in getting on the list so you can get uh, the bullish chart setups and so forth, uh, just go to this website, uh, subscribe to the newsletter, and you get a free ebook with that. And then you'll also um, start to get these emails along with other sorts of things such as trade ideas and all other um, different areas of the market. So let's just dig in right now. Um, it's during the day. Uh, if you watch this number up here, it's changing. That's because, uh, like I said, uh, we got about hour and 15 minutes left in the day and it looks like uh, the market is pulling back here so I don't really foresee it bouncing it could with the way closes have been lately you know it seems like it can either uh, you know rise up or fall back down but I feel pretty comfortable that the highs we've seen today are going to be the highest these stocks go so this will just be a review over the five uh, charts that I, I sent out last Saturday to um, the subscribers and we're gonna go over uh, how they did uh, as far as how I'm going to measure things, I'm going to say we had four winners and one neutral. It could have possibly been a winner depending on how you played it, or it could have been a break even or maybe a loser. So like I said, I'll, I'll explain that when we get there. The first one was LSI, which was a, our pattern, pattern play for the week. And the pattern we had was this right here, which was a falling wedge. And we were watching, oh, excuse me. This green line is what the chart looked like when we sent it out. So when our subscribers got the email, this is what they saw on the chart. And I talked about this is uh, the trend line. Here we have a falling wedge, but this is the trend line we want to see a break. So going through the progression here, you can see it got rejected. And then here, broke above. And right there is approximately about uh, $5.15. And then if you had played this uh, perfectly, the potential gain on this one was uh, 6%. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but one thing to keep in mind is if you go to your local bank and try to get 6% in two days, they're just going to laugh at you. The best they'll do is say, hey, we can give you a bank CD, and if you hold this for six months, you know, you'll get 2%. So 2% in six months or 6% in about a day and a half, you know, that's a no-brainer. And that's what we had here in about two days. You made about 6%. And once again, if you put it in perspective in terms of walking into your bank and buying a, a one of those bank CDs, which mature after six months, and it gives you, you know, maybe three percent if you're lucky. Um, you know, I'll, I'll take this every time. This could continue on going into uh, next week. Uh, we will see. But the one thing that's uh, kind of not catching my eye is there's not really any follow-through volume here. So I don't know how powerful this will be. But nonetheless, uh, if you're a scalper or short-term swing, you know, you had a nice little. Uh, ranger already for a profit so there was our first winner and once again this was our pattern play for the week now our second one was our bouncer and let me explain this we drew a trend line and for the scan I used we said it's, it's looking like it's getting ready to bounce off this trend line which it had already begun volume was nice on the bounce so it was one of those where it's like alright let's see if there's some follow through the next day gap so depending on if you played this gap and got in Let's just say, for argument's sake, you got in somewhere, um, well, anywhere on this day. Let's say you hopped in. You can see it went up a little bit more, did a consolidation day, real nice day, and then today gapped up even more. So had you played this one where you got in somewhere on the gap, uh, you're looking at about six, 16% in about a week's time. So once again, can you walk into a bank and get 16% in five days? Uh, no, that's not going to happen. And once again, this was our bounce play for the week. We were playing the bounce off the tread line, uh, and this thing was like a, a rocket ship. It really did bounce. Next one was Citigroup, and this was our trend trading pick for the week. These are ones where you find um, charts that are in just a bullish uptrend, and you just go with the trend. You know this, the saying, the trend is your friend. That's our philosophy on these. Here's what the chart looked like. We actually advise waiting for some sort of pullback. So depending on where you got the pullback, you can see it gapped up. So this would have been a no play. And on these next two days, it did pull back. So, um, you know, right in this area, and you know, let me zoom in some. But right in this area, you know, you could have gotten a pullback. So just um, being conservative, let's say you just got in up here. So still kind of high compared to where a pullback would be. You can see 
over the next two days, it's gone up a possible 15.5%. So a nice little move there, because if you would have gotten in one of these two days, about 15% in three days, once again, not too shabby. Now the one which was neutral, uh, let me zone in, zoom in on this one and kind of explain. Actually, uh, let me do this real quick. There we go. So this is what the chart looked this is what the chart looked like when it was announced. This was our volume alert play. Huge volume compared to all the other days. Whoops. And depending on how you played it, if you had just hopped in at a dollar three, so let me just come. You can see the next day the chart dropped down and would have filled you right there at a dollar three. The next day it did go up to a dollar nine. So that's a six percent gain. Once again, for you know a couple days getting six percent not too bad now if you would have played this one a different way let's say you would have waited for a pullback down to this support level which was right here you could have gotten in uh, right around ninety cents and then once again this day it bounced up to a dollar nine which is a potential twenty one percent gain in a few days so if you had bought up here possible six percent if you had bought down here on a pullback possible twenty one percent but at the same time this one really didn't explode at all upwards so it could have easily been um, maybe a loser where you just cut your losses or kind of a break even for some people. So we're not going to quite count this one a winner just because there was really no follow through. But within, uh, you know, day's time, depending on where you bought, there was still a window of, you know, opportunity for some profit, especially if you bought down here on this pullback day because the next day it did shoot up over 20 percent. So for the people that bought down there, that this was definitely a, a big winner for them. And um, once again, th that was our volume alert play for the week based just on this volume, which was really above average. The last play we had was our uh, pending breakout. And what those plays are is charts that are looking strong but still haven't broken out above its key level. And this key level here was at 838. So we had a trend line that was drawn on the chart and was one of those where you got to um, watch it break on strong volume. The key thing is here, it did break through 838. But look at that volume. Look at the volume compared to all the other days. Nothing special at all. So you really had no confirmation in terms of volume on that day. And sure enough, the next day it fell through. You got a little candle here. And then the next day, look at this big move. And then look at that volume. Classic example of how you want to see big volume on breakouts. Just because you get above a resistance, if support, or excuse me, if volume isn't really showing any confidence, then you know chances are that's not going to be a good breakout. But here, you had volume support. If you'd have played this one at 8.38, it went up uh, as high as, uh, I'm not, let's see, as high as 8.82, which gives you, once again, a, a possible percent, uh, percent gain of 5%. So 5% in two days, once again, sure, it's not huge like some of these penny plays, but at the same time, you know, if you bought quite a few, because you know, these stocks are liquid, uh, you could easily have uh, made 5% on a, a big chunk of change in two days. And just to go back to the bank example, if you go to and put your money in a bank CD for six months, you know, you'd be lucky to get 3%. So 5% in two days or 3% in six months, I think everybody can answer the question to that one. So let's head back to the Dow and wrap this thing up. Just, if anything, more out of curiosity of where we are now after going through the video. Looks like we're still pretty much in the same spot up here, struggling with this trend line. Um, but once again, if you um, would like to get on this list to get some of these bullish chart setup so all you got to do is go to bullmarketnewsletter.net sign up for the newsletter and you will begin to receive these five bull charts as I call them um, usually like I said every week or week and a half and you know hopefully you can profit we've been having some real big winners we've actually had a few hundred percent movers from our bottom bouncer and a volume alert plays uh, none of them this week this was a winning week but more of a conservative winning week but we have had some bigger ones too but at the same time um, you know, from a from a non greed standpoint, and from you know going into a bank, uh, you know six percent for a week is, is still not bad at all. Sure, it's not a hundred percent, but um, you know it, it's still um, you know making money. So, if you have any other questions on the bull charts or the newsletter, um, please let me please let me know. Send me a message. Um, but if not, head to the website, sign up, and you will start receiving uh, these uh, chart setups. And I should note that it is all free of cost, no hidden fees, nothing like that, no strings attached. So it's worth checking out. Thank you for listening.